<laughs> I hate you little zombie bird. Hi. I can't even have my computer down here to like be in the comments over there. Do you want mine? Oh yeah, maybe. I just thought, oh, I might be able to use my finger now. <laughs> One more stashio to get you like Little, little snacks in. Oh, careful. Ah! That was... What? That was a risky situation. Ah, oh, hello everybody. <laughs> hello everybody. Wait, where, oh yeah, it's over there? Okay, yeah, I'll leave you this for your training. training. He, he might not talk because he's for been... You. um. Thank you. He's been very, very talkative since I've been back. And um, I don't know if he's all talked out. But yes, I am so happy to be home. Hey, Gears. He said nonstop that Trey Mum and done his whistles the whole time. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> but yeah, all good. It's, it's, been, a, it's been a good trip. Very, very busy, but good. Um, why do that? It's a, it's a connection thing. They actually, um, a lot of a lot of birds will rub their beaks on the floor. There's something that just feels nice to them. Hey, Giz. Huh? Oh, bloop. What you gonna do? So, oh, I'm sorry to hear you're sad. Yeah, I would say, I would say so. Um, mighty. He did miss me. He's been so sweet. He's been telling me all day he loves me. Hey, Giz. Haven't you? Sometimes he won't speak when I'm right close, but he's going to come down to me. <laughs> I can't make Gizmo say that. Gizmo comes up with these one-liners all by himself. Do-do-do. Where are you going, Giz? Oh, Booby! Zombie bird! Hi! Uh, poor, poor Bloob. Looks like a zombie right now. Huh? No! Say no, Giz. Just no. <laughs> that was cute. Oh, I can't twist it back. Come on, Giz. Can we, um... Can we just come slightly lower? Oh, would love to chat about mental health benefits of a channel and bird like this. Definitely, definitely. Send us, send us a message and we definitely will. Um, I can personally vouch Gizmo's helped me tremendously with my mental health. And, uh, oh, good luck with, um, good luck Cameron. Hi, Diana. Hi, Eloise. <laughs> oh my gosh. Thank you, Anne. Oh, your dad loves him? Oh, that's awesome. No, he doesn't keep us up at night. Gizmo, once he goes to bed, he goes to bed. And he's done. He loves his sleep. Don't you? Poor, poor Bloob. He's going for a full-blown molt. Um, oh, no. 12.30. Oh, that's crazy. You're in tomorrow. 
I know. New York's only two hours in front, but it has really thrown me off. Yes, I love, I love to sleep, even though I'm um, not very good at it lately. Thank you, Mel. Um, oh, he definitely knows when the camera's on, for sure. Don't you get word. Hi, Bella. Oh, that's an awesome patch. Oh, thank you, Dennis. Thank you, Dennis. Who let the birds out? Hopefully. He has not sung that for, a, like, a little while, but Bad Bird's back, so we're happy with that. And Mum Beats Me is making an appearance again. Yeah, he's been singing Who Let the Birds Out as well. Oh, he has? Yep. Oh, good. I'm um, just curious. Does he seem more calm with you home? Yeah, look at him. Um, he looks like an absolute wreck, bless him. <laughs> bless him, I came home and I was like, what happened? He looks like a zombie bird now. If there was the walking dead. Um, bird edition, he would be like star and roll. <laughs> star and roll. Let me see if I can, if I don't give him so much attention, he might. Be up for a little chit chat. Guess what? Guess what? I'm just gonna go wee wee, okay? You gonna be a good boy? Kyle's in the chat. I know, poor bloobs. He literally looks like you got a ring neck off Wish. <laughs> <laughs> he is not what you would have like expected. But um he is giving you the silent treat. I'm sure he'll perk up in a minute. We went out for dinner actually, because we got I got home late last night. And um we went out for dinner with my little boy, uh, because the girls are all out. And he sometimes has a little sulk before, and we've only just got back. Have a little sulk to let me know that that is not acceptable to leave him for an hour and a half. Oh, volunteering at shelter, that'd be awesome. It's a great it's a great way to learn, like with any animal. The only thing is, if I was to work at a shelter, I think I'd just be heartbroken every day. Um, what was Matt Damon like? Oh my gosh, Matt Damon. So this week's been crazy for me. I met um, Matt Damon. I don't even know what day it was, but I met him and he was amazing, kind, humble, just like, like you guys, just absolutely normal. And um, and then I met Tom Cruise twice. And um, and I, I, I was a little bit cautious of how, you know, because you, you read stuff in the press of that, all this kind of stuff. But I, I, I will never judge him again. He was absolutely amazing. And I could tell he was genuinely amazing because he spoke to every single like fan that was waiting for him and I just thought that was he didn't need to do that he didn't need to do that oh he was a great guy Mal he was beans got the crazy. Beans what? oh Bean's got the zoom is I'm good thank you Purchase the art. Oh, and what's so that? response to all the nicknames he gives himself. Yes. Feathers. And I said, we'll definitely make some art feathers. I'm going to make some earrings, I think. Yes. Guess we should make some earring earrings. Hi, Chloe. Hi, Doug. Oh, after a few months. Where you been, Doug? Yeah, Doug. Where you been? Um... You want to meet Gizmo? Ah, oh, I know. I wish everyone could meet him. Like, I wish I could have taken him to the premieres because it would have been awesome. <laughs> Wouldn't it, Giz? You yawning. It's not even bedtime. Does he have a favourite colour? Um, I think blue. Um, he's not keen on the colour red, which is interesting. Maybe it's because he can't see his own butt. I don't know. 
but he's not keen on the color red. African greys are really, really, really funny. They're very, um, you could be wearing the wrong, wrong kind of colored t-shirt and they won't come near you. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Because I've got like all like rings that I play with him with and um, he, he always goes to the blue ring. Oh, Indian ring. Gears. See, you were trying to tell me something before we got blue. Oh, yes, red. Was Tom Cruise not a nice guy before? No, it's, it's not that he was not a nice guy before. It's just what the press put out about him with the whole, like, that religion that he, the Scientology, I think it is, and about his daughter and all those kind of bad, like, press stories. Um, I can't imagine for a second meeting him. And again, I don't know because I met him twice, not for too long, that those were true. He seems genuinely loving. And he was with his son that he had with Nicole Kidman. Years ago, my friend met that day when the grace was really weird outside the park. He was, yeah, he was, he was absolutely, and he's so professional. The video we did with him, one take, done, bam. He is winding down. He's just chilled. He's got his mama back. He's done a lot of talking he today. Yeah, I, I will leave him. I'm actually going to just go to the bathroom a second. And I might go upstairs. You upstairs. Um, what about... Um, Where's Matt? Birdlet. She would have to come up with me. Okay. Where okay, guys, we're going to leave you, okay? All right? I'm going to go. I love you, guys. I miss you. Goodbye. I'll put a picture in the uh, Kyle's going to be in the chat. I'm not going to be able to read it, but Kyle will be. Oh, he's going to put a bit. <laughs> okay. Bye, Giz. I love you. Bye. See you later. I love you, my boy. Okay? You be good boy. There we go. I'll, I'll keep in earshot of you. You my good boy? What you gonna do? <laughs> train ball? You are training me, yes. You train me well. Train ball? You are. What do you wanna do? Do you want to whistle or do you want to sing? I'm sorry. <laughs> Which one?
you had listened to this and bought it. gonna do when they come for you. Tickle tickle. <laughs> bad bird, bad bird. What you gonna do? What you gonna do when they come for you? <laughs> Yay. Me, guess. Doing a good job. What's that? Why does I have a lot? <laughs> Was Blue gonna talk? Come Hi. Tickle, tickle. Yeah, you encouraging her? Good boy. Did I do it? Was that good? Drink <laughs> Oh, puppy! Let me put that lid on. Because you'll get a stachio. Go on. Good boy. Don't eat it or bring it down. Yeah. 
<laughs> Good boy, Giz. Okay, hang on, you guys. Bad bird, what you gonna do? Not on my thigh. Not on the thigh. Shake, shake, shake. Shake, shake, shake. Shake your booty. Oh, Bluebee. Is Bird up there? Bird. Okay, just check in. Thought I might have lost one.
Sorry? You put the photo what? It, did you? In the community post, not in the chat, no? Oh, no, no, you don't need to. I just didn't. Oh, Gizzy, you gone quiet. You gone quiet. You're really tall. <laughs> bad bird. That's where you get it from, isn't it? Bad bird, bad bird. Oh, Bluebee. Come on, I can see you want to come here. Say hi. Hi. Hubba. 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 No zombie eyes. Okay, right, I'm gonna hide for a second. Oh, is that not allowed? Am I not allowed to hide? Birdie! <gasps> She's bad. Goodbye, Giz. Goodbye. I love you. Okay, I'll give it like two minutes. Hi. 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 All right, you, you're in the chat, aren't you? Yeah. Okay. Come talk, guys. I'm here. Okay. Oh, Blue. What happened to you while I was gone? You were so beautiful. Right, so I'm back until he uh, finishes his groom sash. He, ha he, has, he has spoken this evening. You may have to go back at some point. He hasn't spoken too much, but he's, he's in and out talking. Ooh, feather. Hi, Blueby. Oh, thank you, Victor. Thank you. Oh, he's so messy, Belzer. So messy. And you can see he's so uncomfortable as well. He's, um, he has uh, so many pin feathers, but because he's a rescue, it's, it's really hard because he, he doesn't have that amount of trust where we can help him out a bit. So he's having to do it solo. Any gears? Hi. Hi, my gray boy. Am I talking about blue, but not you? Yeah, I'm sorry. Come say hi. Huh? I'm sorry, it's all about gizmo. 
It's all about the gray dusty boy. Come on, come say hi. Um, it's your favorite bird. Oh, thank you, Davis. It's your birthday on the 20th. Happy birthday for the 20th. His favorite treat? Probably anything to do with potatoes, which he's not allowed to have too often. Oh, and <laughs> you thought that was poop, didn't you? <laughs> yeah, you did. But Gizmo's gone through his big groom. And um, Bird went through it, but she's kind of, oh, he's coming to get me. Um, Bird went through it too. Bird's done with hers. Yeah, Bird's done with hers, but she's very hormonal right now and very evil. Be evil. Right, I'm just gonna go back a second so he can come say hi. I would hold him. I will in a minute. You are a good boy, Mr. Gizword. You're a good boy. Can't even imagine. Okay, I'm coming back, okay? Coming back to the chat, to your friends. Come say hi. Oh, hi. Hi, zombie bird. Hi, Mr. Zombie Bird. Yeah, they're all grooming right now. Let me try and zoom in. Oh, do not click, click, click. Get you back. Um, that's Kyle's making. He he was he would always say hi, Gizbop, and Giz picked it up. Kyle's wanted to make like a hundred nicknames per pet. He he just likes to do it. I don't even know how many names he's got for each of them. You up? A hundred, yes, you do. Yeah, you even calls me a hundred different things. Oh, excuse me. Why does Giz get so dusty? Um, because, um, so their, bre uh, their species, like um, the same with like the gray cockatiels as well. They're very dusty birds. It's, um, Whereas Bird's not very dusty, she just, well, she's not dusty at all. But the the grey ones, and they're very waterproof. I think it's from where they are to protect their their feathers from the rain and stuff. Is that right? Or am I making that up? Babe. Is it to, like, protect them from the rain so they're kind of waterproof? Yeah. Yeah. I could be making that up. Is it finished? No. No, I wanted to. I'm so hungry. But it's starting to melt. Oh, okay. I'll put it in the freezer. Oh, yeah, it is. <coughs> Woo! Woo! I like your new... Woo! Woo! <laughs> you can't woo and bring me to life and then just leave me. You can't. No, no, no. Hi. Hi. <whistles> Woo. Train mom? You are training me. Every day. Can I train Giz? Can I train Giz? <laughs> Hi, Giz Bob. Mom? 
You are. You're doing good. Yeah, you're doing good. Bad bird. <laughs> oh, sorry. Did I, did I do it wrong? Did I do it wrong? <laughs> what you gonna do when they come for you? <laughs> Are we done? Can I talk to your friends? Okay. Let me come say hi to your friends again. <laughs> oh gosh. You're cute. You know that, right? You're cute. <laughs> oh, Bluebee. Hi, Hannah. Oh, and your lunch break? Where are you from? I'm ready for bed. I'm tired. Oh, thank you, Erin. Hi, Ruthie. Hi, Antonio. Giz. I think you'll pretend grooming. Oh, Feather. Bloop. Hi. Oh, Bloop's really molt him. Yes, I know. And this summer's crazy for me. I have anxiety even thinking about it. Um, no. Um, yeah, it is right. You shouldn't pet birds on the back because it can trigger hormonal. So they can get very hormonal. So they say just to touch their neck and their, the top of their head. I never touch the back of Gizmo. Um, you're in Australia. There we go. That makes more sense. <laughs> Clean the floofs. Ah, he's a good boy. Cockatoos love pets. I would love a cockatoo if I had no crazy job. I would probably get, if I was to get one more bird, it would probably be a cockatoo. Ah, thank you, Mel. It's so nice to be home. This is where I belong. And, you know, my job's, my job's cool and it's exciting, but there's no place like home, as Dorothy would say. Clicking those heels. So, um... Don't think he did, Crystal. Literally, I got home la late last night and I've not been with it at all today. And um, and we, we came home to some really sad news about one of our neighbours and it's, it's, it's been chaotic. So we actually haven't had a time to sit down together and talk because the kids have been all over me. Oh, Bloob. Oh, he had one for 20 years, that's awesome. He was amazing, aw. Um, to his mom, have you ever played bird video games? Um, no. I used to play Duck, Duck, Goose when I was younger. <laughs> When it first came out. <laughs> but, um, no. Flappy Birds. Oh, my gosh. I'm the worst Flappy Birds player in the universe. I was terrible at Flappy Birds. Um, sorry. Put my head above. I think. Put in my hand above yes birds are very very sensitive they they um they they have to be lower i think lower for them to trust you and to step up to you so you have to be above them um 
but touching them on their cage is 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 kind of that that's their safe place that's their like they can be very um protective over their spaces stop clicking at me zombie bird do not zombie bird did gizmo ever swear um yes gizmo does swear he doesn't swear very often but when he does, he means it completely, 100%. Normally when he drops something, he'd say, F damn it. Like an old man. It is so cute. And I can't help but laugh. Bloob, you're dropping all your feathers over here. Do not click at me, mister. Um, he is so, yeah, he has become the undead. He, like... They, they need to make a movie about, like, zombie birds. Because he's quite scary looking right now. And all the stuff that's fallen in front of the camera is he's above it. Where is he? There he is. So if you ever see, like, it's not my dandruff. It's, it's, um, it's Blue Bee. Um... <laughs> okay, capital B. <laughs> um, hang on, my finger actually, I cut, uh, I've got an owie, hang on, where is it, where is it, can't even see it, it's not even, I'm here, oh he's going to come follow me, hang on one second, I just got to go back a second, Gizward, you're talking to your friend, come on, just for a second, come say hi, Try and ignore him, guys. Hang on. It's really hard to, though. You are? What? What about my finger? I was trying to show it. Didn't go to plan. Oh, you got your love wings out? Right, I'm going to try and ignore him because he really tries to get my attention. Hang on. Bloob, you're just scattering all your dust. on purpose. <laughs> I was trying to ignore you just for a second. There we go. Okay. I'll be back. Bye. I'm sorry. I was trying to ignore you. You're looking at me too cute. <laughs> Where are you going? Be serious. 
set timer for him some water. Mmm, good boy. Good boy. I love it. Is it Gibby Paul time? Are you checking for snacks? Oh, okay. You found a snack. Nice. I know. He said it last night when I was there twice. Yeah. When I got back. Didn't you? Mom beats me. You said mom beats me. You did. Yes, you did. Don't act like you didn't. Are you really just going to eat snacks now? Is that your eggs? Nice. Mm. I know, she's annoying. She's annoying. Oh, thank you, Silva. He's just having a snack break. He needs this balloon because the birds are scared of balloons. What's that? I just... <laughs> I know, someone needs to remix that song. He, he can sing it in multiple voices. I need a DJ. I need someone to just remix that, him singing that. I love how he does it in two different voices. It's a duet. I am tired. Oh my gosh. My sleep pattern's so crazy. Oh wow. I'll rest when I've... <laughs> and it's not even like it was major jet lag. It's only two hours, right? But, um... Yeah, it's, I've been getting up at, like... I was getting up early in in New York, which means I was getting up majorly early here. So I'm just, like, all over the shop. And I was supposed to go to London, and I'm glad I didn't, because I would have been home tomorrow. But I would have met Robert Downey Jr., and I'm a bit sad about that. I'm a bit sad about that. But they sent me pictures and stuff, and, and video called me. Um, yes, I know, I know. I should have just gone. I should have just gone. But next time, next time, we're, we're definitely going to meet him again. But who I work with met him and they had a great time. Yeah, but I'm not even having extra sleep. I don't think. I'm, I'm confused. What was that? I'm sorry. Uh... Oh, thank you, Silva. Do you know what? And you know when you think of a celebrity, like especially like these A-list celebrities, you think they're gonna be absolute like divas, but they wasn't. You want to train them though, don't you, Giz? And I think you should. If I could get Gizmo like 
into America, I would. But I think with all the bird flu, it's been difficult to get your birds over there. It's 10.14. Oh, I don't even know what the time is. It is 9.14 here. Um, he does owe me a rain check. I know, because I set that up. I got that. But um, it, it couldn't have gone any better. If you go and look at Cabby's last video with Robert Downey Jr., it's... Giz, I'm getting rid of that now. You are? It was a huge chunk. Look at it. <laughs> That's bigger than your head. Yeah, it's just the white of eggs. Um, but I had a friend lose ninety percent. Oh my gosh, I'm sorry to hear that, Silver. That's awful. Yes, it is. It's best to keep them in here and safe. For sure. It's not the yolk. Apparently the yolk's not great for them. Um, so Kyle... Kyle's been, like, a great bird dad while I've been away. And he's made he's making them eggs without the yolk. Yep, 8.15 in British Columbia. It's crazy all these different time zones when we're not that far apart. Oh, you don't want that bit? Yes, I'm going to dress... Well, I'm not sure about dressing Gizmo up for Halloween. I'm not sure if I um, would lose a finger. But I'm... I'm probably going to go as his famous clown witch saying, I have to do the clown witch. Don't I, guess? I want everyone to join me in being a clown witch this year. That would be awesome if we could just have a load of people being like, I'm a clown witch. Your green cheek loves eggs. Yeah, they do love eggs. If he was not, ah, do you know what? We was gonna call him something really stupid because uh, like our first bird we got, we called Bird. So he was our second and we wanted, we thought Gizmo, we weren't keen on his name. Let's say if he was a witch. <laughs> um, so he was gonna call him something like Gray or something like really like stupidly obvious, weren't we? I was going to call you seagull at one point because I thought you looked like a bit of a seagull. Yes, we have to do like, oh my gosh, I wish I could do like a clown witch. What, you know those, what are they called? Those things where loads of people join in. What are they called, babe? You know when like loads of people join in and it just builds up? Oh, um, flash mob. Oh, flash mob. I would love a clown witch flash mob one day. Oh, his thigh... Eggs make him excited and he thigh bites and regurgitates. See? Flash mob. Thank you, Death. Yes, that's... He hasn't done that. Wow. <laughs> that's in hi to you. We're not married. <laughs> Yet. Stupid pandemic. Stopped all that. Now he's going to re... Oh, he's disgusting. I do apologise for this. I don't think he's done this on a YouTube live where he regurgitates. And you can see it coming back up and I do apologise. But I'm going to zoom in for you because this is just life. It's what I have to deal with. There it is. Comes up. But he doesn't waste it. He regurgitates for me. But he also regurgitates for eggs too. <laughs> You're an all day minister. <laughs> oh dear. I don't know if Gizmo would give the ring up though, because I think Gizmo wants to marry me. Oh, Giz, don't do that. Come on. I know it's a sign of love. 
he will do this on me and it's disgusting when he's regurgitating eggs on your hands. It's not the nicest. Oh, he started saying that, Victoria. It's back. It's coming back. The thing with Gizmo is it's like we have a rotation of stuff. Um, and um, he won't say anything for like six months, but then it comes back. <laughs> the ring bearer wants to be the groom. Yeah, you do, don't you, Giz? You're coming up to say, yes, I do. I'm marrying you. Giz, you need a younger woman. I'm too old for you. Okay? Plus, you call me mum, which is weird. And you're a bird, which is even more weird. Okay? We can't get married ever. But I love you. <laughs> That's the thing. They um, they completely like... Um, oh, my gosh. Can you imagine if I said that? I'm going to have to get him to start mentioning pe like famous people. But it's funny. Lots of famous people follow Gizmo on Instagram. He has a lot of famous followers, like um, people that are following him. Is Giz flight trained? No, he can't fly, unfortunately, due to being in his cage for so long. Come on, hi, where are you? Zabo? I can't see you, Gloob. Hi. 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 I know, I wish he could fly. Well, actually, he would be a pain in the neck. I would, um, I would definitely be hostage. But I would love him to be able to fly. I think Bloob's going to come say hi. He sung that tonight, Lightmaker. Is the door? Oh, no, it's not AC. Oh, hi. Okay. Right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leave it because I think Bloob's going to talk with him. Hi. 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 Um, I thought about adopting a female companion, but the only problem is I don't believe in breeding. I wish all these birds could live in their natural habitat, but that's not the case. They are in captivity. Um, I th feel if I got a female, they'd want to make babies. And as much as I'd love Gizmo's babies, I am not for breeding them. And I don't want to be like, I don't want them to be in captivity. I want them to be free. So that is the only reason I wouldn't have a female. Because Gizmo would want babies. And I'd love to be a grandma. But I truly believe they should stop being in captivity. So, kiss word. Come on, dude. Let me... You're gonna talk, aren't you, get um blue? Come on. Come on. Come on. Hi. 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 Yes, are you talking now? Oh gosh, it gets crazy when they both try and get my attention. Both my boys. Hang on. Echo, echo. No. <laughs> no.
What are you going to say? starting to get dark here. Hi! Hi! What you doing? What you doing? What you doing? Good luck with that. Huh? Hours. Exactly. Guess what I have, everybody? I have a super bird. I have the super bird right now. Hi, everybody. Say hi. Hi. Super bird. Here we go. <laughs> super bird. <laughs> now I always like to add in the upside down one because I'm always impressed by her. She looks so cute. Upside down super bird. Here we go. <laughs> Here she is. Wait, I gotta pause it so it gets. <laughs> <laughs> like you shouldn't hold on like that. They hate it. She can go. Yeah. Oh, she's gonna take leaves now. Oh, there's Blueby. There's our rough looking baby boy. <laughs> oh, Blueby, poor boy. Look at that. The uh, walking The walking bloob. Hi. Maybe you know how Gizzy said crackhead recently. He's talking about bloobhead. 
<laughs> Look, what have you turned to? Well, I was away. Did you start taking stuff? Boob, are you okay? <laughs> I don't know why I kept that. I kept that as a keepsake. That was Matt Damon's ring key. And no, that's nothing weird. That was just the recording room. <laughs> but it was his gold key. <laughs> that sounds really weird. It wasn't Matt Damon's personal room. That'd be funny. You know how some people say to their couples, like, who's the celebrity that would be a free pass if you ever had the chance to meet yeah. them? What if he was yours and you're like, I'm like, really? <laughs> you do that because you know that it will never happen. Yeah. <laughs> That'd yeah. be hilarious. So that was it. And this is a gold key that could only go to that floor in that room. <laughs> yeah. You're like, I thought I kept it, but I thought you're like, maybe you know that pass we made up? And I'd be like... <laughs> No, no, that wasn't, no, he wouldn't be that one. Gene Wilder, <laughs> Silver Spur Serpent said Gene Wilder, so my husband lucked out. <laughs> <laughs> Who's the fluffiest of the flock? Well, it depends. Yeah. I, when Blueby's fully feathered, when he looks really like... Full fat. He looks really fluffy and so cute. He looks cute. very fluffy and but, beautiful and smooth. Not even like feathers. No, I know. They look gorgeous when he's like full feathered. It won't be long. Nope. Come August, he'll be back to normal. But Gizzy can be really fluffy looking sometimes. And so can Bird's head. I Not keep, the rest of her, just her head. I keep um showing this because it's really impressive to me. What? Like how long their feathers are, their tails. Like, Blueby usually has, he lost this one recently, these really long tail feathers. And this oh, tail that. feather is 10 inches. Um, <laughs> it's 10 inches. I measured it with the, the measuring tape. And um, that's freaking long, considering the rest of his body is probably another, like, 6 inches. So, yeah, it's really impressive. We had our Jende Conyer first, who she's over here. So she likes to go on patrol and make sure our neighborhood's safe. Where is she? There she is. She likes to stand up here and patrol the neighborhood, and she'll shout at people when they walk by um, and tell them to get off our property. <laughs> and then the second bird we got was, was Gizmo. We were actually meant to um, rescue a macaw. We went to, we went through the parrot rescue here in our local town, and um, we were gonna rescue a macaw. And Gizmo was there, but he was non, um, he was deemed as non-adoptable because if he was so aggressive, and they said he wouldn't be safe for families or anybody, and they, he needed to go to somebody with like a ton of experience, so he wasn't on the adoptable list. Um, and then we um, heard him talking. Oh, well, he wasn't even talking. Yeah, he wasn't really talking. They just, um, this was the macaw. Actually, I grabbed the feather of the macaw we were going to um, rescue, and I still have that. But that's that was Gizmo's brother's feather. Um, but he was deemed not adoptable. And then what, how did we talk about Gizmo then? And we heard him kind of whistling. So, no, so we went to see the McCall and we, we heard him and we, it was just me and you that time. And we're like, oh, can we just go and see it? Because we can hear him. Yeah. He was just whistling and kind of, and the others, the other birds weren't making any noise. Not that we cared about that. Yeah. So we went and saw him and we were like, oh, and he was, Angry, yeah, that time. He oh, was yeah, snapping. He wasn't he was, even talking. He, yeah, Gizmo, when we first met him, was so he was like clicking. he was clicking and really he was aggressive. Very aggressive. And we were like, oh, dang, yeah, okay, I can so see how you say more of him. No, we didn't even think of it. Yeah, so then we went for the second visit, and um, and we had Jesse that time, and Jesse was like holding them calls. And trying to bond with one of them, we hear Gizmo again, and Jess is like, Can we just go see him? Yep. So we did again, and then he started going, Here, boy, here, boy, whistling. Yeah. Um, but he was still clicking and being angry. Um, but there was something about him, and it was not just the fact that he, he was more of a challenge, it was the fact that they said, If you want. 
cute bird in a cage that just talks. And we thought, that's, that's our boy. That's our challenge. Yep. And look at him. They're so cute. <laughs> I love um, somebody asked if we could touch one, and I will touch, touch one. one for you. Hold on, right now. Touch one, touch one of the birds. Uh, I will touch I this one. Good, but Ow! I don't know if I'll get him off me. Ow! <laughs> they told me to touch one, and now I'm getting bit. <laughs> Ow! Bird. Look at my finger. Ow! She's really hormonal. Very. Birdlet, and she's still mad at me for doing super bird. Bird. You're the one that wants to be upside down. She's being so mean. Okay, ow, bird. Look at her. This is how they act when they're hormonal. Okay, go play. Go play. <laughs> Ouch. Thanks for telling me to pet one of them. We should do a Q&A <laughs> one day where we just answer, like, any questions that yeah. anyone it, has. So I'm used to her bites. Like, I can take a bite from her all day, even though she, like, can break skin sometimes. Um... And it's funny, I'm not afraid of her at all. I will, like, she can bite me that hard on but, the face. No. But I don't know why I have a lot of, like, I'm no. still very cautious with Gizmo. Whereas Emily could take bites from him and all kinds of stuff. Um, but she's afraid of Blueby. And I'm not afraid of Blueby at all. Oh, gosh, look at him. <laughs> bird laugh. Bird laughed at you, Blue. Oh, Blue. <laughs> Oh. You look like you're homeless. Bluey, you okay? You do have a home, though. <laughs> oh, 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 Giz. Hi. Okay. Hi. Oh, yeah. Giz, um, Emily definitely... Um, Wait, somebody said, in your honest opinion, does Giz mind being put out on stage? No, Giz likes it. On stage? I guess. What, Oops. like? Like, I think for cam, like on camera. On camera? Yeah, he, he knows the camera. And if you, if you look, watch a lot of the videos, he'll be talking and then he'll look at the camera and he'll say stuff. Yeah. And he also... And we, we just film him, we film him in his natural environment. Nothing staged. Yeah. Everything is natural. If he doesn't talk, he doesn't talk. I think he loves the attention, to be honest. Yeah. We're trying to encourage him sometimes, but we'll never make him. Yeah. You can't. <laughs> you can't make a bird talk. <laughs> I'm, you want a cherry? I'm going to give him a cherry. I mean, bird? I'm going to give him a cherry. Okay. Ow. Birdie, birdie. She hurt you? Yeah. A little bite right now. I think it matters because she's been biting my neck like really hard. Mm. Mm. Uh, what are you getting, Giz? Mm. Mm. Oh, hold on. Oh, thank you so much, Lisa. Lisa, this cherry I'm giving Gizzy's for you. Good boy. The immature in me. You good boy. He came out. Uh, Giz. Uh, and he loves getting extra treats, by the way, on lives. <laughs> Oops. What's this? Nah. Victoria, if it does get fuzzy, sometimes you just have to re um, refresh. Yes, the pit is removed. Always. Good point. 
I always, sometimes I forget because I say it so much and he's been having cherries a lot on these lives. But I, for, I think that everybody's already heard it. But if you have a bird, please always remove the pit when you give it to your bird, a cherry to your bird. The pit could definitely kill your bird. Uh, good night, Lightmaker. We appreciate you hanging out with us and chatting. It was fun. Yeah, Giz has been DNA tested by a blood sample. Ah, oh, Giz. And he was confirmed male. Even though it's funny, we brought him into the um, avian vet, and they called it already, though. After his personality and, like, his height, I mean height, his <laughs> head shape... <laughs> Um, and his, like, his size, though, like, his weight, they were, like, voice. yeah, and his personality, they were, they were, like, we're 99% sure he's a male, but we'll, let's definitely DNA test him to confirm, and when they called us, they're, like, knew it, that was no doubt he was a male, and the reason what she said, which is an interesting thing, um, about their personality, she says, as the avian vet, oh, because you got a little cherry on your beaky, <laughs> she said, um, how she can usually tell the difference between a male and a, a female African gray is the demeanor they are when they're in a situation where they're not happy. And she says males are big babies. Like she said, the males just cry their little heads off. They don't make a fuss really. They just let the, like, they just kind of sit there and take it, but cry. Um, and she said, females are generally a lot more quiet and they're, they're like testing out the situation to like see when's the best opportunity to go for a bite. But so because, so she said because of gizmo was so dramatic. That's what she said. She's like, wow, he's dramatic. Yeah, I have a video which we still haven't edited together. Have we, Giz? Um, of gizmo like crying. I couldn't even be in the same room as him. I was like, <laughs> yeah, and I, and the thing is, if she was in there, I think don't think he'd be as bad because she was holding him and she was like, oh, my God, he's so dramatic. And then she's oh, like, is. this is definitely a boy. <laughs> no, they had you by the throat and they were drawing blood out your jugular. I understand, baby. I know. They take blood from his jugular. I couldn't watch that. They did such a good job with him, though. He, they let, he freaking let them just, like, straight up and give him scratches and pet him. I was like, wow, okay. There's confidence. So did your mom. Yeah, they were hecka confident with him. I was like, okay. Yeah. Yeah, my mom just straight up went over to Giz without, like, for the first time. Just straight up went for a pet and just, like, wasn't... I was like, mom, you're going to get bitch. Like, so? I was like, that's what she said. I was like, okay. <laughs> my mom's actually pretty tough, though. Like, she's always been tough with, like, wounds yeah, and stuff. Like, when she fell, you know her like her, but she just one day always suck it up. She's always been like that. Whoa. <laughs> Poopy. Okay. That's a partial way to say it. Poopy. Poopy. All right, let's see you guys. I'm going to stand over here. You so cute, you little gray wing baby. Gizmo is coming down to find Mama. Oh, blue. Oh, blue. Oh, Hi, Gizbot. Oh, 
You going to find Mama? So he's going to come down on the floor and walk over to M, who's just sitting on the stairs right there. Oh, he <laughs> Gizmo loves music. I wish we could play music for you guys on YouTube lives, but YouTube's got like that strict copyright. Hi, Hi Gizbop. He's got the strict copyright me stuff. So on TikTok, we do when we're live on there, we play lots of music for him. But he loves music. Oh, we can answer your question. That bird that we found um, actually never got us went to a home. So it was deemed as basically set free, which is really sad. Um, but we gave it to the para, the local parrot rescue that we actually got Giz from, and they found it a lovely home. Hi. Hi. Oh, Giz and Bean respect each other. Right, babe? Yeah. Like... Like, they uh, they like each other, I think, to an extent. Um, but they respect one each other. They did. Like, they'll walk around together and hang out. Made a huge difference. <laughs> oh, it actually did a bit. It helped. Just oh, really? Is it like my nostrils or something? No. Okay. <laughs> uh, okay, now. Well, you can see, I see your nasal hair. <laughs> I love your nostrils, though, Giz. You've got cute nostrils. Hey, Mom. Oh, Mel, I hope you feel better. Mm -hmm. Did you call me? Yeah. So, Bean, I mean, Gizzy actually will feed Bean as well. Yes. Scraps. Like, he'll, he'll kind of take some extra... Yeah, so he'll bite a bit off and throw it. And he looks down. And he'll sometimes even hold it with his claw and just drop, drop it for her, yeah. which is so cute. Bird is... I can't see her. Must be in her oh, cage. She's on a on top of her cage. Oh, she's on top of her cage. I'll show her in a bit. Gizmo missed Mama so much. Oh, we got the same color as you. He's great. He's great. He's great. He's great, babies. 100% Mama's boy. Even when Emily's gone, I try to get him to, like, bond with me a bit. Like, oh, mom's gone. I Maybe I'll be nice. <laughs> nope. 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 Aw. He will let me kiss his beak, though, when I give him treats, which yeah, is good. He does. This looks like he's going to bite. The thing is, he's still, like, we've had him a year, April, May, June. Oh, a year and three months. Yeah, year and three months. Too. And he's still unsure sometimes. It's like he forgets human touch. Um, cupcake, cupcakey official said, "Can I draw the birds humanized? That would be amazing. Please do." My gosh, I couldn't imagine Gizmo and Bird and Blue humanized. <laughs> lots of people it, like imagine Gizmo as an old man. Mm -hmm. Um. But he's 17, so it's like... It's like it's my bird, leave him alone. Uh, Emily what? said, you're pretty. It's a... They said, Emily's pretty, and then they said, I'm also Emily. Aww. <laughs> and their, their username is, I can't stop cracking my big toe. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. I don't think I've ever cracked my big toe. I'm not really 
crusty bone person. Are Giz temporary tattoos doable? Oh my gosh, we need to get those <gasps> made. That would be so cool. I, I got, um, oh, I think it's gone That now. would be so fun. I think I sweated it off in New York. We need Gizmo temporary tattoos. One, that would not come off. <laughs> and I don't standardly wear Minecraft, but my 22-year-old daughter got Minecraft tattoos for her birthday from her boyfriend. And they just all wear them. <laughs> <laughs> you definitely upped her energy a bit. What Giz upped my energy? Oh! Oh! Bloob, you almost fell down. Oh Bad, my. Stop. She keeps dive bombing Bloob and it's so rude. Hmm. You're just a good boy, aren't you? You're just a good boy. Bird that. You're just a good boy. Man, I got a bad cut there though. Oh, you can't tap on my leg. <laughs> Oh my. This is chaotic in here. It's just birds flying everywhere in here. Birds and beans. <laughs> you like this room, don't you? It's a rock. It's a rock, like Apollo would say. Rock. 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 <laughs> Walk. No, you just say. I've been animals. saying touch to him lately, though, just to What's get him. What's this? Say. Rock. No, you just say the other one. That sounds like it, but it begins with an F. Occasionally. <laughs> Kizzy Brewster says they love you. <gasps> and everybody watching this loves you so much, Giz Bop. Do you know that? Love you, Giz. I'll take this off. He's not feeling the rock? No, he's, he loves the rock. <laughs> it's distracting him, though. Brain sauce. I know. Gizmo's so song. Maybe he predicted that. Brain love. He was going to turn into a zombie, so he's just preparing us. With all these clues. <laughs> Wait, how did he say brain love? Brain love. No. <laughs> oh shoot. Bad. Ah, oh, Crystal. Oh shoot. That was fast as heck. What? Cupcake he said I'm done with the drawing, I'll post it in my community tab. <laughs> that, that's made me even like is it just like the stick man? <laughs> <laughs> Unless, uh, like, okay, let me know. Good. Let me know when it's posted to your community tab, and I'll pull that up. Oh my gosh, that'd be hilarious. I'm terrible at drawing. Gosh, Gray's Gray's cost a lot to get one, but we yeah. got Gizmo through the bird rescue, so. We didn't have to pay full money for them, and that's definitely what we recommend anybody is to go through a rescue center mm -hmm. if you're going to get a bird. Most of the time, it's, it's like a win-win-win. So you get an African Grey for half, more or less half the price that you would pay a breeder. So you're doing a great thing because you're rehoming a bird that's you know, either been surrendered or come from, um, you know, their owner could have passed away or blah, blah, blah. And also with that, you, they normally provide their like cage and everything that they used to because you, you don't get used to very many things to you straight away. Um, Carmen says, would you recommend a cockatiel? Cockatiel is every day there if we just had a cockatiel easy <laughs> yeah they're 100 percent recommended they're great first we bird as well a jende kanya bullion a zombie ring neck while i'm holding my gray dusty boy they're really just be easy. they're really sweet um they're, you they're funny they're funny as well <coughs> 
Right. I think male ones are more... Talkative, like whistly. Yeah. And um, more open to bond with you, whereas the female ones are just like us females and feisty. You can buy that off. I need that off, actually, Giz. Can you buy it off? Go on. You did a chunk out of it. Come on. Come on, that'd be awesome if you could take That's that That's awesome. Sean and Steph, that yeah. you got permission. <laughs> Get it. I need that off. Ah, oh, Renee said we loved your work with Cat. He he loved your work with Cabby. Hold on. Oh, I thought she said we or he, but. <laughs> come on, come on, bite off me. I don't know why the scissors are gone. Have a good night or day f at work. Sometimes it confuses me when people are like, okay, I have to go to work. Well, even though there's like night workers, mm -hmm. but I think that they're in somewhere that's daytime. Yeah, there's a lot of like Australians. Yeah, like Crystal's always like, yeah, it's lunchtime for me <laughs> in our future. At least we know when we hear from Crystal, we, we have another day to live on this. The earth didn't die. Do you know what I mean? How does that work? Does it work on a day? No, I'm just kidding. If the Earth died, it would just die in this time for us. <laughs> it wouldn't be like... Yeah, it wouldn't be like, okay, Australians are like, we're trying to call them. They're like, you can't get hold of them. I wonder why, because they're dead. <laughs> <laughs> so we just got to wait for our time. Oh, okay, it's our time now. Yeah, if it was like the time zone killer. <laughs> Um, Silver Serpent said, Giz and M coordinating outfits. Unintentionally. Ooh, I wish you had like a little red on your butt or something. I do have a red butt right now. I've been sat on the stairs for a while. Oh. But I can't show that. Your actual <laughs> cheeks. <laughs> My actual cheeks. Aw, Crystal said, lunch is on hold while I get my Giz fix. Aww. Aww. No, Giz does not pluck. We got fortunate, and uh, fortunately, his previous family said that he never did either. No, I which think, is crazy. I think if he was to be brought in back in that situation, he may do. Um, but the thing is, with Gizmo, he was, you know, um, he wasn't abused or anything physically um, or mentally. He was just put in a cage. He was given, you know, he's fed and everything, but. That's all he knew. So I think if, like, it's hard because it, sometimes it's a traumatic experience. Sometimes it just happens. It could be illness that starts it and then it becomes habit. Where is that? I saw this adorable plucked cockatoo today, though. And it had one, you know, like Cosmo had one red feather at the back. It had one feather at the back but it was dancing so beautifully oh the thing is um our vet even said about like birds that pluck one in every three she say yeah one so, in yeah. any in every three will pluck just because they're very like especially grays i don't know if she was talking about all birds but she was talking about grays i think because they're extremely sensitive mm -hmm. to so many emotions and they don't know it's like how to handle some of those things. So if a change, a big change happens in their life, like for instance, our friend Cosmo, she's a plucker. And the thing is she's had a massive change in her life. Her mom, her previous mom passed away and that was devastating for her. And these guys are so intelligent that they know what that means. And she probably really missed her mom. And, and then it becomes like an addiction in a sense for them. Is, yeah, it becomes a habit. Like um, a habit, any yeah. Any emotion. So, like, um, her new mom Good night, who's Victoria. absolutely wonderful. And she's been with her for six years. So you think, oh, why can't she not pluck now? Because she's happy and settled. But it, it's an emotional outlet for them to do it. Just like people that drink, people that smoke, people that self-harm. You know, it's one of those sensitive subjects. Any emotion can trigger that to happen again. So if if our friend goes out for the night and, and Cosmo misses her, it can then trigger that mm -hmm. feeling, oh, my first mom left me, maybe she right. won't come back. Yep. Um, so then she starts plucking again. 
Um, oh. Sometimes she looks wonderful because she hasn't done it for a while, but then Cindy can leave her like for a few hours and then we're back to square one. Yep. So it's, it's just oh, thanks, one of those. Silver. That was sweet. So, so we both have such pleasant and comfort, comforting voices. Oh. <laughs> um, I yeah. I don't know what well, I was going to say. Like oh, Anne said, Anne said that she would love a live with an animal psychic and all of our pets. <laughs> That'd be nice. Can you imagine if they went into, like, bird therapy? Is there, like, if there's a really good animal psychic anybody knows, that would be cool. I will reach out to them. <laughs> Could you imagine them in, um, like, sat in therapy, and then the, the person's just like, and what have you got to say? And they, and they could just vent their feelings. What they would come out with. <laughs> It'd be hilarious. I wish we could just do voiceovers. We should do that one day. Just edit it. Oh, Giz, you're loving this. Oh, Hope, that's so sad. This is actually our first proper cuddle since I've been back. Yep. Oh, Giz loves this. He'll do this all day if he could. He and loves it so much. And the thing is, so like, much. someone mentioned it earlier. I would love to just stroke his back and hold him like a rugby ball, football, whatever you call him. Um, but if I was to do that, mm -hmm. hormones. Mm -hmm. I can't. Teach him how to play dead. That would be great. I know, it's really hard to like... Yeah. I'm not no bird expert. There was a, I saw this... Thank you, Texas G. ...amazing one today, and they were at the beach, and he had just had his African grape, like, right on the... He was, like, paddling in the sea. And he was, like, holding them on one hand, and he'd go, Shh, and this African grape would just go down really fast. How'd you do that? I'm trying to train that with bird, but it's not going well. <laughs> <laughs> no, our birds train us, don't we? Thank you, Texas Thank G. Thank you, Giz. You train me. Train mom. Yep, we're always learning. And the thing is, like, we've talked to people who've had birds for 40-something years, and thanks to the internet always evolving and more information going out there, people that have been bird, like, bird knowers their whole life say that they still learn every day. I don't think you could ever, ever know everything know everything you, think you about know. us we don't know nothing about human beings and we are one <laughs> mm -mm. people are like what is what is that called you know that part I'm of my body learning. like i still feel like i'm waiting to get to that point where i'm mature it's never happened i'm like okay i'm sure it's gonna be next year though. isn't that kind of a weird thought actually we actually have no idea what we are like if you think about it unless you study the human body anatomy you don't know you're like, I don't know what's inside of me. No, <laughs> That's kind of weird. It's creepy. Sorry, that was like a crazy deep thought. <laughs> it is creepy. I love cupcakes. Oh, okay, hold on. I got to get the computer to check that out. What's that? Cupcake, he said it's posted. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um... Your dust is getting in my cup. Can birds look into the light bulb or heater and not get blinded by it or burn their retina? I think, like, the, I think they were asking because, like, let's say the UV light over there. Mm -hmm. Which doesn't have a bulb in. Well, we, we took, took it out. out. But I think when it's on, I mean, I think that they could look at it for, like, a second. But they probably don't stare at it. Never did. I don't know. I don't know so much about took, their actual we eyes. We took ours out because, again, we're learning every day. And we had a comment saying that there was mercury or something in those bulbs. Yeah. Which can be deadly to birds if, if, it they, if, if it breaks. So we didn't want to risk it. So until we fully investigated what type of light bulb, although that was brought for a bird, Sorry. we didn't want to risk it. So we've taken the bulb out and taken it away from them. Okay, bird drill my eye out of here. <laughs> You're not laughing, bird. This is your doing. Oh, she's in, isn't she? Yeah, closing that. Oh. Yes, you're giving me itchy eyes. You're giving me itchy eyes. Good night, bird. Yeah, it's going to be your bedtime. Okay, um. I can't read comments. I know, I'm going to turn this. No, don't. I don't want to see my face. 
There you are. Ow, see, look. That's his favorite food. No, that's perfect. Um, potatoes, <laughs> even though he shouldn't eat them. Like he loves fries, he loves potato chips, but he doesn't have them very often, do you? Are you looking at the picture? I'm going there now. You going there now? Yeah. Oh. Oh. Um. You can't even see gears. It's more on my. <laughs> Let me see. That's cute. Oh wow! <laughs> <laughs> That's totally cute. I love it. That's adorable. I love it. That's, that I'll was show, good. That was quick. I'll show everybody. <gasps> Whoa. Oh, sorry, Giz, Bob. <laughs> that's so yes. cute. Giz, remember, that's my laptop, okay? Don't pull <sighs> That's bird. adorable. Thanks for drawing that. It's so cute. Okay, babe, can you turn it on you? Because you've just got it on my breasticles. <laughs> <laughs> and no Giz, Bob. <laughs> And it's awkward. You want me to lower it? It's literally yeah. just my breasticles. Okay, I'll turn it back around. Thank you. You talk. Wait, I'm not going to turn it on me. I'll just turn it on you. Like that. Okay, can you see more than just... Yes. Okay, because you couldn't even see Gizmo. <laughs> and it was a little awkward. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> oh, of course. It's awesome. Thanks for drawing that. Is that is so cool. Can we share that? Or is it public... Yeah, can we sh if you give us permission, we'll share that because it's super cute. If Gizmo was a human, do you think he'd be bold or do you think he'd have hair? <laughs> I think he would have hair. You think he would? Yeah. Why would I he... think he would, like... I just imagine him with, like... Yeah, I'll give her... I'll a give a top and then just like white hair. Right? I'll give a um birdcage tour in a minute actually. Anybody my babies? Aww. They said I finally got appreciated by one of my idols, a dream come true. Aww. Aww. That was awesome. Yeah, we'll definitely share that. We love like giving back. Like somebody else earlier said you guys are the only people that I've like see on live ever talking to their community, which is crazy. It's I feel I feel like I feel that's so like bad. If you if you have a platform and you have oh, <laughs> don't know why that made me jump. Um, you have people that like, take time to write to you. Sometimes we can't get to, to every everyone. Comment. Yeah. Um, but we do try. We do. Especially with live. There's, you know, there's there's times when Gizmo's talking, but we always try that where there's one of us in the chat. I love that. So if we can't watch the chat and talk and respond, then someone is writing in the chat. Mm-hmm. Wait, um, Silver Serpent sent us a nice little super thanks and said, a Giz book of how to rescue a bird would be a great kid's book. That's a really good that's idea. That's a really cool... I'm actually going to write that down. That's a really good idea. Because that is such a fun idea. That is such a good way. I love that. I would love an African grey baby where I could hand feed it. Because this is what they do. And this is what is so wrong. It makes a bond between the human and the bird so strong. But you're literally ripping it away from its mother before it should even be away from his mother and they're hand feeding it so then they look at you as their like mother almost yeah but then you have they live up to 80 years old so if you're adopting it from anything older than birth then you're basically you know we we on average live 70 years they on average live up to 80 years you're still gonna die before it so I would love to educate more people to just help the ones that are in captivity because we shouldn't be taking these birds out of... Uh, I've learned so much from doing exactly what everybody else... Everybody learns and I don't judge because I went to a pet store 
and I brought a bird in a cage mm -hmm. and I knew nothing but now I do and I feel like it's my duty to say oh, or try to say the next generation is key it's so true so true <clears throat> yeah aww sorry that's so um, sweet Mel, Mel, so Mel said I write avian poetry simple rhymes that could reach the heart would you like to see some poetry in Gizmo's book that would yes. be so sweet we would love that like a that would be so fun to get multiple people involved in it like a fun because Gizmo everyone says book. he's like a poet and people from the community yeah. So it would be like, we could even use some of it. You know, the stuff he says sometimes is just so poetic. It is, yeah. If so you if break we had it a down. poetic book with like Gizmo's, oh my gosh, people. Would that be good, Giz? Would that be good? Oh, it's okay, Rain Man. Uh, Gizmo is 17. He does love his mama so much. <laughs> he is. Penny, I agree with you. He's like a funny old man. <laughs> mm -hmm. he's, I, th I feel with Gizmo, he's just got... Um, he's got yeah, so Mel, soul. please do. Please email me, actually, because I want to email you back. Um, and we want to send you something for just being a cool, like a great moderator. Mm -hmm. I'd love to send her we a gift. Two, we have two great mouths. One's in Australia and one's in BC. Yep. Mouths getting both confused. But I'd love to send her something because she's always so great in our YouTube lives as our mod. And then boy. Yep. We agree, Hope, like breeding should end. And I know it's kind of sad because you think of like the birds would eventually not be in captivity, but these guys just, they're not to, like dogs are different. Dogs are proven to be domesticated from, for doubt, like so long from like the beginning of time, but birds are not domesticated creatures. So yeah. <laughs> they just shouldn't be here. What? He's not just domesticated, so... he's just like, <laughs> yeah. acting like a dog. <laughs> yeah. He's not domesticated. <laughs> No. But, I mean, they can, you can tame them, but they'll still always have their wild, no, still be wild. their wild tendencies. No, I stick my finger in your underhole, your <laughs> underbeak hole, whatever that is. I know, the thing is with birds, uh, you don't realize how loving they are. They are. If Kyle was to do this right now, it would be a different story. But... <laughs> yeah, but if when Bird's in her loving oh, mood. Oh, Bird's so loving to you. Yeah, she'll give me lots of love. Oh, he wants a beak kiss. Can you give him a beak kiss it. for me? Can you please give him a beak kiss? Because I'm kiss. getting his like, little pins that he hasn't. Can you get his beak kiss oh, for me? Everything we lost, because of that. Oh, pin feathers? Mm -hmm. Wait. Yeah, he's only just started letting me do that now. Oh, oh that's awesome, Penny. Yeah, well, volunteering for a bird rescue would be amazing. Um, totally true, Silver Serpent. Animals are not pets. Exotic animals are not pets. We are the pets. <laughs> we are totally the pets. If you think about it, like even dogs, right? They're what? What do they do? Like they're like they'll feed me, they'll pick up my poop, mm -hmm. they'll buy me like clothes and beds. <laughs> yeah. Like, take me out. Like it's just like, come on. <laughs> if I'm cute, they like give me treat. Like. <laughs> they work us. They do work us. Like, I will say on Gizmo's palette. Bean because... knows how to work me when, like, she gives me the side eye and stuff. She knows what she's doing. Yeah, you only have to say to her, don't be cute. <laughs> she's like, oh, really? Okay, I'm about to show you cute. <laughs> I'm just their employee, exactly. <laughs> well, 
dog is, can verbalize it. He's like, train mom, because that's what you do, and train dad. Hmm? Exactly, their DNA has not been domesticated yet. Nope. So yeah, they're still wild creatures, even though they can be tame. The thing is, like, he, he can, and, and it's even the same with dogs. You can have the tamest dog in the world, but it takes, it can turn. Yeah, I've heard that the most loving dogs you know, mold someone. Hey, us humans in the We're not very domesticated. <laughs> no. That's why pe people buy shirts saying I'm domesticated. <laughs> <laughs> Put it out there because not everybody is. <laughs> Like his eyes are just like, ah. You know, I just wish I could just like hug him, but maybe in the winter when he's not so, when it's not like that season. <laughs> Kids took dad's laugh and ran with it. <laughs> <laughs> he does have my laugh, that's why. He has so much of yours. When people write, like, his laugh is so evil, or <laughs> he's got such a villain laugh, I'm like, oh, what? <laughs> Do I sound like I have a villain I think it's, like, because... You have a lot from... of different laughs. I do. It's because it's coming from a bird. I do, too. There, I think there's certain laughs that we all have that are, like, for different things. Like, you have your Krusty the Crab. <laughs> Krusty the Clown Crab. <laughs> that's, uh, that's Krusty the Crown Laugh. Yeah, uh, one of my favorites. I haven't, I feel like I haven't done that laugh in a while. I don't know. No. Aw, thanks, Cupcakey. That's cute. The Can little fun bed? fact about the drawing. I love that. Can we go bed? Can we go bed? I want to go bed, Giz. Wait. I'm gonna ignore you. Voice, are you um do the three of us live here? Yeah, we do. Emily was out of town on a trip, but we all live in this house. I think that's what you're asking. Gizzy, me, M. <laughs> there's more than three of us. Yeah, there's six of us. Why does Giz make me wanna sing Madonna? <laughs> like a virgin. You, yeah, I think he's a virgin. <laughs> he would be. So much more. I don't know why that Madonna song came in my head. <laughs> I apologize. <laughs> oh, Giz. I'd love you to have a great girlfriend. If we could get a new kind of bird, what would it be? I would want a macaw. Oh, it's macaw or cockatoo. But. That, oh my gosh. But cockatoos are so needy. We don't have time though. There's no way. If we didn't have jobs. <laughs> yeah. Maybe. If this was our job, if we could just live our life in the bird world, it'd be great. But we don't earn enough to do that. So we have to have jobs. Don't we? Came up. I'm sorry, guys. Yeah, I needed yeah. to stretch, stretch out my leg. <laughs> oh, Hope said your happiness makes me happy. That's sweet. How long did it wait? How did you name your con your bird? <laughs> okay, so it was our first bird, right? This is our first bird, and. Bean was already named, so it was a new pet in the house. And the thing is, we have four kids, so everybody's always like, I want to name it. And it becomes a big, like, kind of thing. So 
what we did was we said, everybody come up with a name and then we'll kind of vote on a name type thing. Mm -hmm. And we had a few names for her. We were going to call her like Snoop. We originally thought it was a boy. We thought it was a boy. Yeah. We thought Bird was a boy. So we had like Snoop. Oh yeah. Snoop. Tank. Tank. Yeah. Um, I don't know. Some of the other names like Tank and Snoop I knew for sure. And Everyone then, was saying. But then people Mango. were. Yeah. Then like our, well, our daughter was like Mango. And I'm like, no, that's way too many mangoes out there. So we couldn't like really nobody was voting on anybody's suggestion. Nothing so right. we just say we kept saying bird in the meantime um, as we were trying to figure out a name. And then finally we just were like, why don't we just call him? We thought it was a boy again. Why don't we call him bird? And then we just stuck with it. And then we got a DNA test like how many months later? A, ye Almost a, year. a year later. Yeah. A year later. And it was so hard. We finally to got it. him. To her. To her, but now we don't think of anything. I can't even imagine saying him again. No, I know. It sounds Just like, wrong. what if he turned out to be a girl when we got him DNA tested? Right? And you're like, we have a baby girl. Ooh. <laughs> Weird. <laughs> Weird. But yeah, I'm glad. I love Bird's name now, though. It just, it per like, I can't see her as anything else. No. She's such a bird. <laughs> She's a bird. Yeah, she's a bee. Bee. Texas G, we actually do have a ringtone available that says Squawk Off in it. Um, I think it's in, you can find it in our link somewhere. I could link it in the chat in a minute. <laughs> but I have to stand up. <laughs> Kim Bird speak? Mm. Very, very little. Like, she can say hi and up, up. Um, yeah, she wasn't programmed with many birds. She, she, her species is not one that talks a lot, but she's... They have a lot of personality. A lot she's of personality. She's got a lot of vocal abilities. She can a say lot. up, up. She can go hi. Um, she used to... Uh, so, he's got something that sounded like love you. Yeah, kind of. But yeah. her personality, like... Without words, she speaks just as much as these guys, that, like, with her personality. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah, she's a bee. Did we see the poly short? I don't know what that... Poly short. Who's poly? I don't know. It depends on the species of bird. Some birds you can tell the different genders by like the colors or markings. Yeah, like, but sometimes you can't tell that until they're mature. So exactly. Still, you're not guaranteed. Yeah, you, you could take. You a baby. Usually, like could, an Indian ringneck, you could buy as a baby thinking you've got a boy or a girl. It's not until they're two years old that the ring comes in, if it's a boy. Yep. And then you'll know for sure. And Unless it's in zombie mode, and then you're not quite sure. And then another way you can tell if your birds are male or female is if it lays eggs. <laughs> if, it lay <laughs> if it lays eggs, you got a girl. <laughs> blue. Yeah. Blue. Poor Bluey. <laughs> you look so funny. No, we love you still. Polly oh. Shore. Oh, I know Polly Shore, if that's who you took him up. Oh, I thought you meant Polly Shore, like YouTube Shore. Yeah, me too. They wrote uh, shorts, so I don't know. I know who Polly Shore is, though. He's probably, is it like the proper name or are they? Sure. There's our ring neck right there. Hi. And he looks so rough. That poor baby boy is molting really bad. I don't like it when it gets to that stage, babe. What stage? Bean. That chew is Oh, small. okay, I'll take it from her. I'll Did take it from her. Really oh, she was really zoomed in when I went, went back. Wow, nostrils. No, right Really good. Again? <laughs> okay, hold on. I'm going to stand up. Are you going to be okay? Yeah, but my butt's numb. Yes, so is mine. Hi. Oh, Blueby. Hi. 
my god. Okay, you good? Good thing your life's not on me. I wish I could. That was a little crap. like lost balance when it right through the fireplace. Um, Bree, can I have that now? It will take me a while to get to, uh, no, to save you. I feel like this that is too small. It's too scary. small now. I'm sorry, Bean. Oh, we don't want you to choke. Bean. Do you remember when she nearly like choked last time? Yeah. She could definitely choke on that. Mm -hmm. I'll give her a treat, though. I have a treat for her. Sorry, Bean H. Aww. I'll get you more of those. It's though. okay. I'll get you more of those. But I do have a treat for you. There you go. They're uh, daily essential vitamins. For dogs. For dogs. Oh. They like to have um, digestive ones. So I'll try that. See if it helps like with her digestion. Like her upset stomach. Like how she throws up a lot. And since mm -hmm. I started giving these to her, oh my gosh, she didn't get that. Oh, I'm sorry, guys. I'm not showing you attention. Okay, what are you, what are you planning on doing? Because I just feel like I can't even see. I'm going to go. Do you want to put Gizzy back and so you can get to bed? Yes, I would love to go to bed. Here's Bloob. I don't even know how my knees are going to work. <gasps> what are you doing? Pull me up, Giz. Oh, ding dong. Um, Bloob? Um, yeah. Oh, shoot. Hold on. Yeah. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Let me just take you guys with me to get kitchen roll. Okay. Yeah, poor Bloob. He's molting. He's in his, like, peak molt phase right now. And he just looks poor. He just looks so rough. Look at him. Oh, Blooby. Do you want a stachio? Oh, Do you want a stachio? My old things. You're way too cute, though. Oh, You're way too cute. Huh? Okay. You're oh, still cute. You He does look so rough. Hi. Hi, Bluey. Hi, found it. You're so cute. Oh, you You're a good boy. Mm. Okay. Look at how rough Bluey looks, though. Do you want to give him a kiss? No. Why? Right. Uh, um, philosophically. Emily's scared of blue for some reason. Okay, where's Gizzy? Mm. There he is. We're going to get Gizzy ready for bed because Emily's so tired. Ah, thank you so much, Silver Serpent. Just sending a rest well to my favorite fam, M. Kyle, Giz, and Bloob. Aww. Thank you so much. You guys are so sweet. And little Bloobie says hi. And Bird says, she says hello too. Ow. Okay. Can you say hi? It's Bird, say hi. Say hi. Say hi, Bird. She's not happy right now because Bluebee's on me. Not happy at all. I'm her, like, her daddy, and she's like, Who, get him off of you now. It's okay. Hi. I love you. It's okay. You're my good girl. Hi. You're my good girl. I already put you to bed though, okay? I'm just giving Blueby some love quick. Okay? 
This is what she likes to do. I'll put my finger in here at night, and then she, I just become her perch. <laughs> so, yeah, just become her cage perch. She's like, this would be great. Please stay here. Make this a permanent perch. Uh, good night, Silver Serpent. We appreciate you hanging out with us. Bird, where are, what are you doing? <laughs> okay, he's off of me now. Okay? Are you okay with that? Thank you. She's like, yeah. I love you, bird. You're so cute. Can you, can you give kiss? Give kiss? Nope. Okay. Let's say goodnight, Gizzy. Let's say goodnight, Gizzy. Ready? Come on. Bird doesn't get along with any of them. She's mean. Bloob and Gizzy get along with each other pretty well, though. Like, Bird and Bird has a respect for Gizmo, but Bird is rude to Bloob. Yeah, we're all, I think we're all headed out with you guys, but do you want to say um, bye? Yes. To people? Bye, people. <laughs> Gizzy, can you give everybody a kiss quick? Go on. Mm. Ooh, you good boy. Okay. Because I'm tired, I think. You are. I'm tired. You gotta get you to bed, my lady. Okay. Yeah, th we want to thank all of you guys for hanging out with us tonight. And um, Keith did a little bit of talking. He did. Yeah, he did a little bit of talking for us. But we appreciate hanging out with you guys and getting to know more of our community. And thanks, Cupcake Curry, like, for uh, making that awesome drawing. We're gonna. I'm going to go grab that and share it with everybody. That's awesome. Um, but, yeah, we appreciate you guys hanging out and for all your lovely super thanks and um, chilling with us tonight. And we're, I'm getting Emily to bed. <laughs> what about you? What? You're going to get me to bed? No. <laughs> I'm going to bed to sleep. I, I know that. <laughs> <laughs> I guess. <laughs> Sorry. I didn't <laughs> mean we, it like I that. I know you didn't. I think it's just tiredness talking. <laughs> oh, uh, boy. Yeah, that was awkward. Very. <laughs> <laughs> okay, good you night. You said, are you going to get me to bed? It confused me. <laughs> <laughs> what did you mean? I meant it as in, like, sleep, not... <laughs> Okay. Uh, oh, gosh, you little snorter girl. Okay, love you guys so much, and thanks for hanging out. <laughs> okay, Bob. Can you give a kiss again? One more kiss? One more kiss? <laughs> Good boy, cutie. All right. Good night. Love you all. See you soon. Bye.